Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to have your Raspberry Pi hooked up to your Wi-Fi network and SSH ready before you even boot it up. This is helpful if you don't have an extra keyboard or monitor laying around so you can quickly do your initial Pi setup. I also find this easier because it only takes a couple of minutes. So it saves me some time where I don't have to take out one of my other machine's keyboards or look for another one laying around. So let's get right to it. So what you need for this is the latest version of the Raspbian OS, which at the time of this video is Raspbian Buster. You also need an SD card and software to write the Raspbian OS to it. I use Etcher. You also need some software on your computer to connect to the Pi. In Windows, I use Putty. Finally, you obviously need your Raspberry Pi. To begin, we first need to download the Raspbian OS. So open up a browser and navigate to raspberrypi.org. Click on the downloads link at the top. Click on the Raspbian button. Scroll down until you see Raspbian Buster Lite. I'm choosing this one because it is the smallest and lightest version of the operating system. Click on download zip. So now the OS is downloading. While it's downloading, I will install some software that will write the OS to the SD card. The software I'm going to use is called Etcher. And you can download it by going to www.balena.io forward slash Etcher. I'll install it, and when the Raspbian OS is finished downloading, I'll open up Etcher. So here we have Etcher. To begin writing the SD card, click on the Select Image button. Navigate to where you downloaded the Raspbian OS image and click on it. Select the SD card drive you want to write the image to. I only have one SD card drive and it's already selected, so I'll click Continue. Now click Flash. Say yes to the Windows Security Alert. Now wait until flashing is done. And it's finished. So now that the OS has been written to an SD card, we need to set up Wi Fi and enable SSH. SSH will allow us to use the Pi without needing to plug in a monitor, mouse, or keyboard to it. To set up Wi Fi on the SD card, we first must plug in your micro SD card to your computer. In Windows, you will probably get an error that it can't read the SD card. Ignore that error and also select Cancel when asked to format the card. So in Windows, go to the search box and type This PC. Click on the This PC result. There should be a drive called Boot. Open up that drive. Now, on this drive, right click on an empty area. Click New. Click Text Document. On the new text document that comes up, Name it WPA underscore supplicant dot CONF. Make sure all the letters are lowercase and that there is no TXT at the end of the file name. Now open up that file in Notepad by right clicking on it. Click Open With. Then select Notepad. In Notepad, type out these contents or copy and paste them from the description. Make sure you replace the your network name text with your Wi-Fi's network name and replace the your password text with your Wi-Fi's network's password. They both still have to be in quotes though, so don't replace those. Save the document and you're done with the Wi-Fi setup. Now let's set up SSH. To do this, you have to right click on an empty area again, click new, click text document, now rename this new document to just SSH. Again, make sure all the letters are lowercase and that there is no .txt at the end of the file name. When this empty file exists in the root of the SD card, it will let the Raspberry Pi know it has to enable SSH. And you're done. The SD card is ready to be used on your Raspberry Pi, so eject it. So now let's connect to the Raspberry Pi. Plug in the SD card to the Pi. 
and also plug in the power supply to boot it up. Wait a couple of minutes for the Pi to finish booting. After a couple of minutes, get on your computer. If you don't have PuTTY installed or any other program that can SSH, go ahead and install one. You can obtain PuTTY from PuTTY.org. So here, I have PuTTY open. The default host name for a Pi is just Raspberry Pi with no spaces. So to connect to the Pi, all I do is type Raspberry Pi into the host name section. I leave the rest alone and then click open. I'm shown the security alert. I'll click yes. And I've successfully connected to the Pi. To log in, all I have to do is use the default credentials, which is Pi for the username and Raspberry for the password, all lowercase. So that's it. You can now start configuring your Pi without needing an extra keyboard or monitor. Was this video helpful? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. Thank you, and I'll speak to you next time.